Hi guys, I'm Rahul Payashu from LearnMakingWebsite.com. In today's video, we are going to talk about six basic things that you need to ask your client or if you are building a website yourself, you need to have those before jumping into building a website. So let's get started. So the first and the foremost thing that you need is your domain name. So what is a domain name? Just like you register a company, you decide a name of your company and then you go on to your local registrar to register the name of your company. Similarly, you need to book a domain name which would be the name of your website. It could be there are many TLDs depending upon your country. The .com is the most renowned one. If you are in India, it will be .in. If you are in UK, it will be .co.uk. If you are in Australia, it could be .com, uh, .au. So there are many those TLDs, but uh, .com is one of the most renowned one. Let's say if your company name is uh, ABC. So you'll going, you, what you need is you need to book a domain called abc.com and if you're targeting, if you're just serving in your own country and if you're not doing, if you're not going to target a global uh, region, then what we recommend is booking your uh, country uh, TLD. Just like if I am in India, if I have a company, let's say Credofi, so I'll be booking a domain name which will be credofi.co.in. And uh, if I'm trying to uh, kind of uh, sell my services globally, I'll be booking a domain which is called .com. So how does that uh, domain name helps is generally when you later on try to rank on Google. So that's where the TLDs plays uh, a very important role. So if you are just targeting in your uh, local area and local current, uh, local country, so what you need to do is let's say let's take example of a London. So if you are running a cake business in London, so definitely you will not be shipping your cakes outside your country. You will be doing in your local region. So uh, let's say if your cake name is uh, Tasty Cake. So uh, let's example. Let's say for example uh, you want to book a domain name. So you'll be booking a domain name which will be TastyCake.co.uk. And there are many uh, domain registrar providers just like GoDaddy and uh, there are many uh, like I mean your uh, one and one uh, uh, is also a uh, renowned uh, domain provider. So you can go on to those domain provider and how to buy a domain. We have done a separate video. We'll put a link in the description or it might come over here how to book a domain name. So you can check that video and you can see how to book a domain name. So now moving on to the second thing is the hosting. Just let's take the same example. You have uh, registered a company name, so you need an office. So you'll need a physical uh, office, right? Or uh, if you're working from home, you might need a virtual office. So in the same scenario, when you are uh, launching a website, you need a, some, some sort of space to host your files where you'll be putting your website. So that is where the hosting plays a very important role. It's a kind of an area where uh, your all the files and all the database information will uh, go. Just like in an office, you take a particular uh, office on rent or a physical location. Just like in the website, you have to take a physical space on some server. There are many third party servers. We have done a separate video how to get a domain and how to uh, book a hosting. And again, the link you can find in the description. So just uh, to give you a basic idea what is hosting. Hosting is a kind of a physical space where you will be uh, putting all your uh, files and databases so it will be it, you can buy that from uh, many third party provider and they'll give you a, a server space you can host those files so that is about hosting now the third thing that you need is a logo and a color scheme so we can let you know in a separate video how you can uh, do a logo but that is the third and the most important thing that you need to remember is you need a logo and a color scheme. There are many uh, logo designers that you can hire which can uh, do a logo for a very cheap price or if you want a very good quality logo and uh, truly which you want to submit uh, for uh, copywriting and uh, for that sort of stuff then you need to hire a bespoke web designer, uh, logo designer to do logo for you. So their logos ranging from a very low price and goes to a very high price. Right, so you need you need a logo, uh, but uh, to get your website, or you can simply, if you don't want to get into that uh, uh, kind of, uh, you don't want to spend that much of uh, amount, 
what you can do is you can simply write your uh, company name in a text in a good font and that is how you see that many Google or even Microsoft or uh, even Tesla has uh, just a text logo so that is how you can even do I mean you can simply write your uh, company name in a text in a good font and you can use that as a logo but you need to have a color scheme where you choose a primary color like just like it could be red and then uh, you can choose a secondary color which could be some short uh, shades of gray or uh, anything of that sort you can use corporate blue or uh, Whatever, you can uh, choose two shades, uh, like I mean two, two color tones and uh, then you can decide what color theme that uh, will go on to. You can take many examples from a reference site and you can take those uh, uh, kind of inspiration from those uh, sites just like Apple, uh, Microsoft or many big companies, They what shades of color you should use. So you can use those sort of uh, color themes for your own website. So that's third and uh, now moving on to the fourth is the website content. So you need to have a website content before you jump into building a website. So how you can write a website content? Like when, when, when you're launching a business, you no one knows better than you uh, what sort of uh, business you're launching. So you need to write about uh, yourself and sort of business and what are, is, the, is your mission and vision and what are the service that you're going to launch. So I must recommend that you should spend some time to draft the entire content writing about your story and your business story, how you are going to build it, whom you are going to serve, who will be your target audience and what are the services that you are going to offer and you need to write a few words about each and every service before directly giving and hiring a content writer to do a professional content and the SEO optimized content, I must recommend that you must spend some time to write the entire story and draft all the services and what all uh, pages are you going to have on the website. So if you, when you, when, when you, even when you hire a content writer, it will be easy for him to take that as a base and build on, uh, on that particular content to a bit further to make it SEO optimized and write it professionally to make it that engaging and uh, to which the your when your visitor uh, visit the site they find that content pretty much engaging and they kind of uh, give you uh, a kind of their uh, phone number and email and that's how you get a lead so you must have an engaging content if you can write that yourself or you know how to write write uh, engaging content you can do that definitely and uh, you can hire a content writer to do that for you but first and foremost thing is you need to write a draft uh, of your own uh, website content so that is uh, the most important thing that you need to do so after uh, website content you need to decide which CMS you are going to target I mean which CMS are you going to choose to build your website so there are many CMS like WordPress Joomla Drupal and many more so you need to choose the best among themselves and the one way of choosing the best among themselves is the one who has maximum number of sites in the internet as of date today so as of date today, it's 30%, more than 30% of the website in the entire internet are done in WordPress. So WordPress is very much uh, user friendly CMS via which you can maintain the site yourself. So WordPress is what we recommend that you can choose the CMS to build your site. Now the sixth and the most important thing that you need to keep in mind, you should select right theme. Don't go with the free themes because they don't get regularly updated. We recommend using top selling premium themes from uh, Theme Forest or there are many like come I in mean, uh, elegant themes like Divi. They are providing a very easy uh, interface in the admin panel for you to update uh, the content yourself. But if you want to choose the best theme which is right now in trend, I would recommend extra theme and you can uh, go with the elementor plugin the extra theme basic and the elementor uh, basic free plugin comes with uh, almost all the functionality to launch your basic website but if you want to build uh, more upon them you can buy their uh, premium plugins which are pretty much uh, uh, cost effective when uh, you can buy one site license if you're building uh, it for yourself if you're building for your client you can buy their uh, agency license which is again cost effective uh, considering you can uh, do unlimited number of sites so uh, why do i recommend extra theme because it is very user friendly you can uh, do the site edits from the front admin panel very easily 
and it is pretty much fast loading i mean when we did the test uh, you can check in the video below we'll put the link uh, description uh, over here somewhere so you can check that the kind of speed that we get when we install that extra theme and elementary plugin the site was loading under millisecond so that is it for now and uh, these are the basic things that you need to build a basic website you need to need to have you must have uh, these six things before you start jumping into doing the design or doing the layout and we'll be telling you how you can build the basic website so make sure to subscribe this channel and we'll be posting a video soon how you can build a basic website from scratch but make sure that you have all those th all those uh, six things six things in place and then you can uh, start jumping into directly into this uh, making the site from scratch so that is it from now and uh, again if you have liked this video make sure to like it if you have any comment that you want to cover in a any any uh, comment and suggestion that you want to or any topic that you want us to do in future you can put in the comment section below and let us know what topic and what video you would like to see and what sort of tutorial you want to see make sure to check our hosting videos and we have uh, done a hosting comparison and have chosen a best hosting provider with, uh, uh, using though using many 21 uh, hosting factor and seven uh, other uh, factor so make sure to check that video as well we have put the link in the description below so we'll see you soon till then enjoy life